in the era of Cameron and Osborne, China policy was Treasury policy. And so the um, the Treasury were basically dictating what, what happened and trade opportunities and access to Chinese markets and exports and investment, etc. was was the kind of the go to the priority um, at the expense, probably of speaking up around issues like Tibet and Xinjiang as they emerged um, and 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 potentially Hong Kong as well. Um, since then, and I think particularly actually since the crackdown of Hong, on Hong Kong and the coronavirus uh, outbreak, making people more aware of the situation in China, um, there has been a shift, I think, in some foreign office rhetoric and in particularly actually parliament and the press, which has meant that the optics and the way that our relationship with China is framed has changed. And that is also, I think, a result of the fact that the Americans have obviously moved into quite a solid kind of era of competition with the Chinese. Um, all of that's to say that the Foreign Office are moving. They probably haven't totally moved, but they're moving away from the golden era. I think if you look at the statements that come out of the Treasury, still very little has changed. And it is that is probably one of the areas where I think greater scrutiny is needed, if I were to identify it at the moment.